Good day grade 11s, welcome to your next lesson on exponents and thirds. Today we're going to be looking at a thing called prime factors. Now what are prime factors? Prime numbers are numbers that are divisible by one and themselves, not including one. So your prime numbers start 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, etc, etc. And they can only be divisible by one and by themselves. Now prime factors are prime numbers that are factors of a number. So let's look at, for example, we want to find the prime factors of 75 and I'm going to give you an example of how you would do this. So let's look at, and where did my pen go? Let's just get a pen. Okay, let's look at first 75. So the way we do this is we go, okay fine, we've got 75. Let's find the smallest number that we can think of. That's a prime number that can go into 75. So the smallest number I can think of that's going to be able to go into 75, that's a prime number, is 5. So 5 goes into 75. 5 goes into 7 once, remained at 2. And 5 goes into 25 five times, so that's 15. Then we can say, OK, now we need a prime number that goes into 15. So I'm going to do 5 again. So what do we have then? We have that 5 goes into 15 how many times? 3. And then what is the prime number that goes into 3? Well it has to be 3 and 3 divided by 3 is 1. So therefore we can say that 75 is made up of 3 times 5 times 5. That's how you find your prime factors of a number which could be rewritten as 3 times 5 squared. And now maybe you can see why this is applicable when we are talking about exponents. Let's look at 27. So 27, I want the smallest prime number that can go into 27. Okay, the smallest prime number is 3, so, well, it's actually 2, but 2 doesn't go into 27. So let's go for 23, it go to 3. 3 goes into 27 9 times. And then amazingly, 3 goes into 9 3 times. And then 3 goes into 3 once. Okay, so we could rewrite 27 as 3 times 3 times 3, or we could write it as 3 to the power of 3. Okay, so now let's see how we can use this prime factorization in examples of exponents. So we have just proven that 75, we'll go back, we can see that we proved that 75 is 3 times by 5 squared. So again, we could say that this is 3 times by 5 squared all to the power of x, which could then be written as 3 to the power of x 5 to the power of, remember what do you do with the brackets? You multiply across, so it's 2 times x, so it just becomes 2x. And that's as far as we go with this. This is just showing you how we're going to use this. Okay, let's look at this prime factorization. It isn't really prime factorization with this one, but we're going to show you how to start using things. So with this one, what we're going to realize is we've got 5 to the x minus now what this means that can be rewritten as 5 to the x times 5 to the 1 and do you see that we actually have a common factor here we've got 5 to the x there and 5 to the x there so we could actually take out a common factor of 5 to the x and what are we left with we're left with 1 minus 5 which is 4 times actually it's minus 4 times by 5 to the x. Okay, so basically what we're doing is starting to look at how we can use factorization in exponents. Let's do another example. Okay, now this looks really scary. I've gone from like super simple to a bit scary, but let's take it baby steps and what we're going to do is we're going to find the prime factors of every single one of these nice and slowly. So let us start. 15 do you agree that it's very easy, 15 can be written as 5 times 3, so I can write that as 5 times 3 all to the power of x minus 3. Then 4 could be written as 2 squared, 2 squared to the minus x plus 2, and 9 can be written as 3 squared to the power of 3x all over. 25. 25 is 5 times 5, and 5 times 5 can be written as 5 squared. So I'm writing that as 5 squared to the power of minus x plus 1. 
and then 16 is kind of tricky because 16 is 4 squared okay so let's take it as 4 squared so that's 4 squared to the power of minus x plus 2 okay so now before we mess with that we can just simplify this out and then we'll talk about this one as well so this can be rewritten remember what the product rule is that that applies to each of the numbers within the bracket so it becomes 5 to the x minus 3 3 to the x minus 3 and then what do we do we times across the, the bracket so it's 2 2 times minus x is minus 2x plus 2 times 2 is 4 times by 3 to the 2 times 3 is 6x all over and again we're going to be times and across the brackets here so it becomes 5 to the minus 2x plus 2 and now here's the problem 4 squared 4 is not a prime but 4 can be written as 2 squared so what do we have we actually have 4 squared is the same as 2 squared squared and do you realize that that means that that becomes if we multiply across the bracket becomes 2 to the power of 4 so actually 16 can be written as 2 to the power of 4 all to the power of minus x plus 2 okay and I'm immediately because I want to move on to the next level I'm going to immediately rewrite this rewrite that as 2 to the minus 4x plus 2 times 4 is 8 plus 8 and now what we're going to do is we're going to group all our like terms and then add or subtract the exponents as we've been taught to do with the quotient rule. So we're going to look first of all at, let's just change colors here so it makes it easier for you to see. We're going to be looking at the fives, okay? So what have we got? We've got 5 to the x minus 3 minus minus 2x plus 2 this minus is because it's divided and that there is that one's exponent then we're going to be looking at let's change color to green let's look at the threes so we've got that one and that one so we multiply it becomes 3 to the x minus 3 plus 6x why is it plus because we're multiplying so we add the exponents and then we can change color let's do purple and we've got the twos so that becomes 2 to the minus 2x plus 4 minus because it's divided we minus the exponents minus 4x plus 8 and then let's see what this becomes so then let's go back to red equals 5 to the x minus 3 minus times minus is a plus 2x minus times a minus is a minus times a plus is a minus 2 then we've got the green green which is 3 x plus 6x is 7x minus 3 and then we've got the purple for the 2 so that becomes 2 to the minus 2x plus 4 minus times a minus is a plus it becomes plus 4 again and minus times a plus 4x sorry and then minus times a plus is a minus 8 and now we simplify it okay so we got 5x plus 2x is 3x minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5 and then we've got the green where we've got 3 to the 7x minus 3 that stays where it was and then we've got the purpley lilac color which is 2 to the minus 2x plus 4x is 2x plus 4 minus 8 is minus 4 and we haven't quite finished yet because usually they tell us that they want to have it all with positive exponents so what we're going to do is now we're going to finish this off and wherever we've got a negative what do we have to do we have to take it down to the denominator so this becomes 5 to the 3x and that means the same as times by 5 to the negative 5 times by 3 to the 7x 3 to the minus 3 times by 2 to the 2x 
times 2 to the negative 4, which then becomes 5 to the 3x times 3 to the 7x times 2 to the 2x all over 5 to the power of 5, 3 to the power of 3, and 2 to the power of 4. And that would be how you would simplify this. Okay, let's do another example just to reinforce this. Now we've got 5 to the x minus 3 minus 4 times 5 to the x plus 3 all over 25 to the 2x. Okay, so I think the first thing we're going to do is break all these 5's up, okay? So what do we got? We've got 5 to the x times 5 to the negative 3 minus 4 times 5 to the x times 5 to the 3 and remember that 25 can be written as 5 squared. I'll worry about this for in a minute. So it becomes, that can be written as 5 squared all to the power of 2x. Okay, now do you see, and I'm just going to do it in another color so you can see what I'm talking about, that this is 5 to the x and this is 5 to the x and it's separated by a minus. So therefore we have got a common factor of 5 to the x out here. And now we can do what's left in the bracket, which is 5 to the negative 3, negative 3, minus 4 times 5 to the 3, all over 5 and 2 times 2 is 4, so it's 5 to the 4x, all right? And then what we do is we can say, okay, fine, well, this becomes... If we look at this, this is 5 to the x and this is 5 to the 4x, so we can cancel this and we're left with 5 to the 3x at the bottom. So we're left with, we cancel this and we're left with 5 to the 3x at the bottom. And now all that we have is 1 over 5 cubed minus 4 times 5 cubed all over 5 to the 3x and then we can use our calculator because 1 over 5 to 3 is, 20, is 125 so it's going to be 1 divided by 125 minus bracket 4 times 5 cubed bracket equals and actually I would just leave this as it is because it works out to be a very horrible number okay but it works out to be minus 499 over 5 to the 3x. Okay, but that is a suitable answer. So grade 11s, please go make sure you can apply all your rules and know how to prime factorize because you're going to need them to be able to simplify more complicated exponent expressions. Thank you grade 11s, have a lovely day.